Hello everyone. Moving charges and magnetism foil. The moving coil galvanometer. In this video, I will be mainly discussing the moving coil galvanometer and the galvanometer as an ammeter as well as as a voltmeter. So first we shall see about the moving coil galvanometer. A moving coil galvanometer is used to measure the current in a circuit or the voltage drop across a resistor. That is for measuring the current in a circuit an ammeter is used while for the voltage drop across a resistor a voltmeter is used. Now this moving coil galvanometer is based on the principle that a current carrying loop when placed in a uniform magnetic field experiences a torque. Now this figure shows the setup of a moving coil galvanometer. The galvanometer consists of a coil with many turns free to rotate about a fixed axis in a uniform radial magnetic field. There is a cylindrical soft iron core which not only makes the field radial but also increases the strength of the magnetic field. Now, in this magnetic field, if a current passes through the coil, then the torque experienced tau is given by n into i into a into b, where n is the number of turns of the coil, i is the current flowing through the coil, a is the area of the coil, and b is the magnetic field intensity. Counter torque is produced due to a spring which is given by K5. Therefore, when these torques are balanced, the dial comes to a stop. Therefore, K5 is equal to N into I into A into B or the total angular deflection phi is equal to NAB by K into I. Here K is the spring constant or the torsional constant of the spring. Now we shall see how we can use this galvanometer as an ammeter. The galvanometer cannot as such be used as an ammeter to measure the value of the current in a given circuit. It can be used as a detector of current in a circuit as such. This is for two reasons. That is, galvanometer is a very sensitive device and it gives a full scale deflection for a current of the order of microampere. Then the second reason is, for measuring currents, the galvanometer has to be connected in series and as it has a large resistance, this will change the value of the current in the circuit. So, these limitations of the moving coil galvanometer can be overcome by using a small resistance of value Rs which is called the shunt resistance in parallel with the galvanometer coil. Since the shunt resistance is very small, majority of the current passes through the shunt. This shows the setup of the moving coil galvanometer as an ammeter. In this case, the total equivalent resistor is given by Rg into Rs by Rg plus Rs. Here Rg is the galvanometer res coil resistance. Since Rg is very much greater than Rs, the shunt resistance, we can take this value as almost equal to the shunt resistance Rs. Now the current sensitivity of the galvanometer is defined as the deflection per unit current. That is phi by i is equal to NAB by K. Now we shall see galvanometer as a voltmeter. Galvanometer can be used as a voltmeter by connecting it parallel to that section of the circuit whose voltage has to be found. 
in this case also we have to make an adjustment that is a high resistance has to be connected in series with the galvanometer this is done so that the current flowing through the parallel branch is kept to a very small value now the voltage sensitivity of the galvanometer is defined as the deflection per unit voltage that is phi by v is equal to nab by k into i by v and i by v is equal to 1 by r by ohms law and phi by v is equal to nab by k into 1 by r so this is the end of this video in this video i have mainly discussed about the moving coil galvanometer the construction the working principle and using the galvanometer as an ammeter as well as a voltmeter if you have got any doubt please comment in the section below thank you